Okay, here we are uh, doing working on the final or the first test, uh, looking at the rectangular size. Uh, this is 80 by 80, and 160, 160 by 180. Uh, looking at it from the front, uh, we'll basically see this rectangle. These will also be rectangles, and uh, this will be a rectangle in front. Uh, it's going to be 78 wide and 80. Uh, not 81, 57 high. So we can start by making the outer rectangle, uh, doing a line. It'll be, what is it, 157 high and uh, 78 wide. Grab the point. And I drew that rectangle in layout. It should be in the visible layer. So let's select it and move it to the visible layer. I don't like uh, dynamic input on. Uh, so that's the uh, outer rectangle. Uh, now this is going to be 12 high. So draw a line, grab this point, go up. 12 and over there. And then these lines here are going to be 13 in and they are 9 wide. So line, grab the point, move in 13. And then how high are there? Well, it's 15 down from the top. Let's just draw it all the way to the top and then we can move it down 15. And then this is 9 wide. And we have another one on the other side. Uh, so we can mirror it, select it, and then mirror it about the center. So there's that. Uh, and these radius 9 corners are fillets. Uh, so the radius is 9. It was set that way from the last time. And then we want to do multiples, so we want to fill it from here to here, and from here to there. So there is that. Now we need the holes. Uh, and the hole is up 40 from the bottom. So it's a circle. Why is it not grabbing? Oh, we're still on. So a circle from here. We want to be up 40. And the radius of the holes is 13. So it's diameter of 13. And then we want to circle from the center. We want up. 80 and the diameter is 13. So those are our two uh, circles and that's basically our visible lines. Uh, now in the center of each circle there'll be center lines. Uh, so we can go basically a line across the circle, zoom in, and then take this, say, down 8, and this up 8. That looks like about the right size. And then we can rotate it about the center. We want to copy it, and we want to rotate it 90 degrees. Now we have a nice plus, and now we can copy these from the center to there. So that's those, and then we'll also have a hidden line if we zoom out again. These holes down here, symmetric, are going to be uh, hidden in the base down here. So we need to move it from to hidden line, and then we can grab this corner. 
There's one. And then grab this corner. And there's the other. And the center, since this is about the same thing, we can basically copy this from the center and there. So now we have the center line and the hidden line for that hole. Next up is the L shape. Uh, so if we're looking at it in the front there, uh, then as we look at it from the side here, the L shape is going to be, uh, we're looking at it like this, so it's an L shape right here. Uh, and we can set up some construction lines just to make life easy. Uh, we want uh, construction lines. So XL is the command for construction line. We basically have one horizontal line. And then we can copy this line from here and then top of the circle, center of the circle, bottom of the circle, top, center, bottom. And so with the snaps you can quickly get to what you need to do. Now if we come this way, oops we're done copying, so now we can come here and move this, how do you move it up to the front? I forgot. Oh, come on. Where is it at? Oh, it's under... I don't remember. We're going to turn these off in the end anyways. Now we can basically do our L shape. Uh, so, we basically pick a point on our line. Oops, we're still in our construction lines. Let's go to visible lines and now do a line from here. It's going to go over 157. Something went wrong. Uh, Control Z is undo. 157. Up, and then the it's basically 12 thick down uh, so now that's the outer shape uh, and then with our construction lines we'll have the top here so we have a line we'll have basically a triangle starting here and then why is my Polar tracking, oh it's set at 90 so we want 45. And then why is it not tracking? Uh, 45, settings, here's our settings, and then track all polar angles. So that snap wasn't set up. Now we're, we're good for 45, so now we can find our intersection point right there. So that's this triangle. Uh, each of these rounded corners will still look square. We don't have any extra lines. That's an artifact of the 3D drawing program, but that's not how we've learned to draw things. Uh, so now we basically can come in, draw our hidden lines. Uh, and that's from here to here. And from here to here draw a center line from here to there. Oops, I forgot to draw a line. From here to here. And then you can move this out eight. And come on, grab it. Eight. Now we have a center line. It's made a cross. Uh, and we can come through. Now since this hole is the same here, we can copy it like that, and then from here to here. 
So now we have these two holes here, and now we need the holes here. Well, this, since this is symmetric, we can actually mirror it. So we want these lines mirror, and then it's about this diagonal angle, and we don't want to erase it. So let's turn off our construction lines. And how are we looking? See, we have each of the holes, center lines here, center lines here, side view here. That's basically our part. Next up is to go into our layout. This is how we're printing it. And let's see. Oh, we're done with this. We can delete it just to make things fit better. Scale to fit. It still thinks it's there. Uh, let's see. One to one is too big, so we'll do one to two, which is a nice scale. Now we want to come in here and insert our title block. And where is our title block? Uh, let's say C colon. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. Where is the title block? Uh, let's try. Almost there. Title land. There we go. And then we want, since this is a millimeter drawing, we need a scale of 25.4. And we'll specify the insertion point on screen. So the scale is about right, so we nicely stick that right there. There's the title block. Now this is one block. Uh, to edit it, we need to explode it. Now we can basically select different parts. This is how you could change my name. Double click on it. There we go. And the part name was 60 by 60, 160 by 80 and our scale is 1, 2, 2, which is what we get. Yeah, 1 to 2 from down there. So this is the scale that you want to do it. That's basically it for the test.